All right, here are my results, and these are accurate. I keep these for business. So if you're wondering what I do, obviously, if you notice, 8 20, 19 was the very first time I ever filled up the car. So I had no mileage to go off of, which is why that one kind of gets thrown out. But after that, I drove 133.5 miles, went to the station, and filled up with 9.598 gallons of gas. That's how you figure the miles thereafter. So every tank, once I fill it up, I reset the trip odometer. Whenever I fill up, I write down the trip odometer number, write that on my gas receipt, and put it into the computer. If you notice the trend, the price per gallon was way down until 2021, and it's been steadily increasing. So the cost per mile driven you can't really compare obviously because the you see the average price per gallon I was paying was a dollar ninety seven and then once I started using the fuel ox it's two thirty five so that's that number there and there so it's pretty simple I have five thousand four hundred seventy five point eight miles three hundred fifty point three one gallons of gas that was 16.246 miles per gallon, and that's what I had before fuel ox. Also, just to throw in, I did the last six tankfuls, since I have six here with fuel ox. So the last six was 1,234.3 miles, 77.1 gallons, which is only 16.011. So my miles per gallon more recently has been down anyway and so even though you see the fuel ox is higher than what it was here for the lifetime of the car you notice in recent times my mileage was down so actually it was went from 16.011 to 16.369 so pretty good gain from using the fuel ox and you see my numbers there and yes i am pretty conservative about filling up. I don't typically like to run it very low. Um, and you see the price per gallon just jumping tremendously there, as well as the cost on the tank fulls. So the cost per mile, that's a good number to know uh, when you're comparing different types of fuel and, and whatnot. Like if you were comparing ethanol to regular gas, for example, um, like I said, in our case here, the cost per mile was cheaper and more expensive, but that has to do with the price per gallon of gas more so than anything else. If we used a same price per gallon and just multiplied it by the gallons, this per mile driven cost would be cheaper with the fuel ox than it was here. So like I said, don't let those numbers throw you off. It's just a math thing. <laughs> um, so bottom line, fuel ox was a benefit. It has increased my miles per gallon. Um, but more than that, so even if you don't get an increase of miles per gallon, what a fuel additive like fuel ox does is it basically adds lubrication to your gasoline. So it's going to prolong the life of basically everything in your vehicle, your fuel system, all of that. So it is a worthwhile purchase, um, and it's real easy to do. Like I said, you just squeeze out the required amount, pour it in, and then fill up your tank and go on, and uh, real easy. So... Highly recommend. Appreciate them giving me the chance to test it out. Because I'll be honest, I was curious. I mean, you see these things advertised all the time. You do wonder, do they work or, or not? Well, here you're seeing that I did see the increase in miles per gallon. And like I said, the added benefit of uh, more longevity on the vehicle. So, hope this was helpful. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.